At this moment in your life, where are you seeking advice and coaching? Um, I don't have one particular source. Like, takes a village is what I like to say. Mm -hmm. It. Um, I've got a bunch of really great people in my life uh, in various capacities that I have great respect for and admiration for. Um, some, I mean, I love them all, you know, for different reasons, but I think, you know, some of them I feel like, uh, like one of my girlfriends I feel like is just really level-headed and she comes from a corporate law background so she's almost kind of critical and um like just the way that she thinks is very different from me so I find it very valuable um to when I'm you know facing certain problems to go to her and I really admire the advice she gives me and the perspective that she brings to the table and then I have friends and business contacts who are incredibly creative and the way you know, if I have an idea and, you know, mention it to them, whether it's an event or um, a challenge I have with my business or branding, they bring to the table something really wonderful and different than I, that, that I would never be able to come up with. Um, and then, you know, I have, you know, people I talk to or just have hugely successful businesses and have kind of, uh, you know, birds of a feather, they say, stick together. I have a really great network of um people that I, I really respect and admire who are entrepreneurs, some of them extraordinarily successful, some of them, you know, are st kind of starting out, you know, at all different stages, but I find it equally valuable to talk to them and, um, and I seek advice from them often. And even not advice, but just kind of schedule time to have coffee and just kind of talk about the status of my company and hear about theirs. And learning is so empowering. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like every day is an opportunity to learn more.